Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is H. So uh, this is another video, another installment in our series where we go over uh, questions that most likely will appear on your bonded or CCHTA exam. Um, I'll be showing the questions as well as their answers. Okay, um, and some of them, again, I'll chime in uh, to explain some of the questions and try to break them down a little bit. But for the most part, just be showing you questions and answers. If you do have any questions that you want to ask me, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. I'll leave the link to this website in the description. Um, it's a very good website that will help you uh, get prepared for when you're ready to take your CCHT or CHT uh, exam. Now with this question, I want to expand a little bit. Um, like when you talk about your synthetic membranes, um, it makes me think about the type of dialyzers. So they'll probably ask you that on your test. You, you, there are really three main type of dialyzers they'll really talk about. You have your first type of dialyzer. This dialyzer is known as the dialyzer of the 1950s. This is your coil type dialyzer. Then you'll have your parallel plate dialyzer. A uh, key indication about this dialyzer is that it, uh, they they were flat, like sandwiches. Okay, so anytime you see something that says a, a sandwich-like type dialyzer, your parallel plate, and then you have the most commonly used your HFAK, your hollow fiber artificial kidney hollow fiber type dialyzers. That's the ones that we use today.
If for this question, you may be asking yourself, okay, why is math part of the um, answers here? And remember, we use a lot of math um, when we're working as dialysis technicians, um, dialysis RNs, okay, or dialysis LPNs. Remember, we gotta calculate dry weight. Um, we have to calculate, okay, what's the maximum UF that we can take off a patient? Um, sometimes you have to calculate, okay, how much, uh, as a nurse, you gotta calculate how much medication or heparin okay so it's a lot of math involved so um if you do find a question like this and it one of the answers may seem like it's not part of dialysis it, it most likely will be if it's pertaining to math Now for this question, uh, you guys remember that when it comes to determining okay, which side is going to be the venous, which side is going to be the arterial, uh, remember brewery is to here, fill is for thrill. So if you have like a straight um, fistula, okay, and you listen with your stethoscope, the side that has the strongest brewery, the strongest thrill is going to be your side, that's your arterial side. The side that has the weakest, that's going to be your venous side. If you have a patient with a loop graph, okay, the way we determine okay, what side of that loop graph is going to be the arterial, what side is going to be the venous, remember at the, end, the the middle of the loop graph where you have that curve, if you press in between, okay, whatever side, again, is going to be pumping the hardest uh, and sound the hardest, sound the loudest, it's going to be your arterial, and the weaker side is going to be your venous. And for our last question, remember guys to really um, pay attention to how the question is being asked. So for example, this last part here says, which of the following would not be considered one of the boundaries? That not throws off a lot of people. Okay, so you wanna um, take your time, read through the question, sometimes read through it three times, okay? Take your time on the test. Um, they'll give you about three hours to take the test. Okay, so take your time, uh, and then some, uh, they'll have about 150 questions on both the bonding and the CCHT. So take your time, read through it. Uh, if, you, if you are crunching on time, you can always go back to a question and, uh, and, and follow it up. Okay, so don't spend 10, 15 minutes on a question, but do try to um, go back, look over certain questions, and use your time more.